I've got some other things to show from that wonderful year 2006, a big case with lots of stuff and some of them quite big. This one, something I never actually played with, it so often happens, I put them away and I don't get around to doing it. So it's an extraordinary thing, Mosaic, Mosaniac, Mosaniac, yes, I don't know what it's, a, it's, a, it's a New York designer, but he's actually made in Serbia. And the idea is you have six pieces and you rearrange them um, to form four portraits of, well, in this case, it's of Van Gogh. Those are the four pictures you will see. There we are. So the picture I've got is this one, is that one there, which I'll undo and show you what it is. But when you rearrange those pieces, you'll get this picture or this picture or this picture. Extraordinary. So this is so what I want to do is just undo this piece. It, it just flips. It's, it's been mounted in there, so it comes apart like that. So that's the guts of the piece, those six pieces. The back of it, a complete mishmash, of course, like that. And each of the pieces comes away with a bit of teasing. And there we are. So that's got bits of Van Gogh from other portraits. And it's all got to be put together with the other part, five pieces. This is now starting to fragment, as it, so, as it were. So they slot in very nicely. There, there's only... One, two, there's only three, four slits going halfway down towards the centre. In each case, there's just four little slits. And then they mishmash and slit together to form uh, an oblong portrait with Van Gogh no less than four times over. There's the interior instructions as to how to do it. it, it, it very, I found very helpful, actually. I'll bring up the camera. So... So you start with this picture here, and you add another bit, another bit, another bit, and you finally put the final piece in, you end up with that picture there, and then you have a go with the other pieces. So it's very helpful. And there's about uh, six or seven in the series I've got from the same company uh, of this product. And that's a little bit on the back with the instructions, which is quite interesting too. I'll just show this carefully to the camera. Oh, nice. A very clever invention. I've never seen it since then. I have to say, I've been looking around, but um, it hasn't been reproduced anymore. Pity. There's another bizarre thing here from a, com a company called Child Guidance, which is a wonderful way of showing kids what happens very often in industrial processes. You've got four sizes of little plastic marbles or little plastic balls, and the f three layers that they can go into, and the bottom layer counts as the fourth layer. The smallest ball, the white, the red, the, the little blue one, will go right the way through until it reaches the bottom. Until that one, it ends there. A pink will end out there. The yellow uh, and no, the uh, the green one there, and the pink there. So turn it upside down and see what happens. Shake, 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 shake. I don't want to see any more green ones on the top. And it, there's still one left there. It's not going to go through. Oh, there we are. Now, next layer's down, that's good. So that's all yellows, that's all greens, that's all pinks, and that's all blues. If I was a bit more fussy, I'd get them actually sitting in their thing and looking very neat. But for kids to learn to do that, and instantly it goes back into, ooh, down to the bottom, and start again. So for children to learn that's how things sort by size, lots of lessons to learn with that. It's an extremely good um, on that ticket, name of the company, incidentally, if I see every year at the New York Toy Fair, is Child Guidance. They do make extremely well designed toys to help children's minds to develop and character develop, too. It's a good, good toy, that. There's something for the men, for the, for the drinkers of the world, which is a very nice one. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a tumbler, but it's got an, I need to put this inside so you can see what it's actually saying on the blur, which is on the outside. It's trying to measure your drink in what they call gulps, sips, and, and oh yes, sips, mouthfuls, and then gulps. And they're suggesting that uh, if you drink the whole lot from the top, you've got 45 sips, 13 mouthfuls, and seven gulps. What a nice concept, isn't it? So I better get started. You see that? Fill it up with some beer, and away you go. Sip, sip, sip. Mouthfuls or gulps, big gulps, and see how you measure with it. Nice one. 
Never. Never be used it. Must have a go with that sometime. Here's something which is um, very dear to my heart, because balloons is one of my favourite um, toy series. I've got more balloon toys than anything else, I think. This is a, a catalogue which uh, a balloon company from Neotex, or any other company selling balloons, would take around to the toy shops when they're selling their balloons. It's a catalogue with wonderful way of displaying what their, what their wares are. In this case, it's... Look at that. Beautiful. And I'll get this up the camera so you can actually see the name of the... There we go. It's got lots of fancy names for all the colours, which all look very alike, actually, some of them. And there's the actual balloons themselves. I've taken out quite a few of them already, I'm afraid. I've robbed myself, but well, and a whole lot more there. And at the other end of the catalogue, the top end, are ones which aren't round, but just different shapes. And of course, many, most balloon companies do make things of interesting shapes, hearts and lozenges and faces and big ones and long sausage balloons, etc., etc., etc. The whole thing makes a delightful storage, I think, for holding balloon samples. And it's exactly what a businessman would do when he's going around to the shops or she or to, uh, to sell the balloons to, 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 um, to shops. Very nice little um, item, that. For me to keep too, because I do love so love balloons. Huh, do you like it?